What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and today the 9th of May uh, which also coincides with the um, general election of my country so I had to vote earlier and also some voting going on and uh, came back in time for the update and uh, this, this is a very exciting update uh, because um, we get a few characters so first things first, let's talk about uh, what's new you can also look at what's new by going to notice right you go to notice and then there will be the update announcement and there'll be like hella stuff here it includes like what 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 stuff came the new ssrs uh, ichimoku ren and higanbana uh, then they have two srs komatsu and hanya and then they have this new pet system and a new achievement system and, and chapter 23 which every few weeks they just come up with a new chapter and uh, another pay to win event uh, recharge events uh, some skins on sale Hanya and Ichimoku Ren uh, some packs I, I've stopped spending on the game uh, after after Mega like allowed me to use his account I'm like ah, I don't have to spend anymore and I'll just use his account to, to satisfy my summoning craving and stuff my account be like super casual right so Let's look at the two new SSRs, which uh, I will be doing a stream after dinner. It's about 9, 10 p.m. my time, so about like two hours after this video is up. I don't know if you guys are free, join. I mean, we're going to summon um, for the new SSRs, which are these two guys here. Ichimoku Ren. It's a one-eyed guy. So what does he do? First skill. Throws an amulet containing the power of wind to one enemy, dealing damage equal to 100% of his attack, absorbs 20% of the enemy's attack for two turns. This effect cannot be stacked. He absorbs 20% of the enemy's attack. Okay. But what I've been told, alright, like is this guy is is like a shielding guy. It's like he he has hella shields. Uh, let's look at this. I'll protect my people. Ichimoku Ren uses the power of his dragon to form a shield to protect one ally for two turns. The shield absorbs damage equal to 16% of Ichimoku Ren's HP and deals damage to all enemies equal to 8% of Ichimoku Ren's HP when broken. Our damage dealt is increased to 12% and the damage absorbed is 18% of his HP. So apparently like this guy can be really tanky, he can be like 30k HP, 40k HP, a G6, something like that. So that, that's a lot of, uh, that, that's a lot of shields. And um, it's got another one, wind shield. Each Mokuren uses amulets to form shields that protect all allies for two turns. Absorbing damage equal to 12% of Ichimokuren's HP and increasing the attack by 10% when protected. Uh, it goes up to 16% of its HP. So that's like two different shields here. Um, one is an AoE shield. Another one is a, a single target shield. But this one only lasts for two turns and not his two turns. It's that Shikigami's two turns. So like if you put up the shield and after that like if you have a Kamaitachi and he moves again and again and that shield will be gone. Alright. Uh, same with this shield also. It's also two turns of, of that ally. So people have been saying that he takes up a lot of orbs because he, he needs to put up the shield over and over again, right? And you can see why because it costs three orbs, three orbs. So yeah, we, we don't have that... Um, was it Kaguya? Kaguya, he made something like that. That's that's the, that's the Shikigami that basically replaces Zashiki. We don't have her yet. Uh, that one has better op distribution than Zashiki. Zashiki is quite limited. And the next one we have is the one that I am anticipating most, Higanbara. This girl will change the meta because um, we can see rest in peace double pool teams because Higanbana is here. Right, so what does she do? Uh, she has a passive skill. This is the one. Crimson Flower. Sometimes the most elegant curses are also the most lethal. Higanbana summons three layers of flowers at the start of battle. Any enemy within the flowers takes damage equal to 39% of her attack for each layer of flowers at the start of their turn. Effect doesn't stack with multiple Higanbana, so that means you can only have one Higanbana and the it, it's only by one of their 39% um, attack. 
Gains 1 layer of flowers per 25% HP loss to a max of 6 layers plus the Blood Soap Flowers Shield. What's a Blood Soap Flowers Shield? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, so basically, without even moving, right, um, she does damage to people because at the start of the battle, she has this um, three layers of flowers. So bas basically what I've been told, like, I don't know, I, I've never played the, the Chinese version, Taiwanese version or whatever version. I've only played the global version of uh, on Myoji. So what I've been told is uh, people usually put CC souls on her, like um, either Shy Soul or Mimic or Temptress. And what happens is if you're going to be like double pool, you know, you're like everybody's out speeding, right? And you, you just get CC because of this passive right here. Like this crimson flowers. Which is pretty cool. What else do you do? Um, blood soap flowers, that's skill 3, summons 2 layers of flowers from the underworld, also casts a shield to protect herself when her HP drops below 75%. Increases damage absorbed to 28% of Higanbana's lost HP. So so I guess we're, we're getting like 2 shield units. I'm not sure whether they will work hand in hand together. I mean, uh, once we summon them on Mega's account, but this, this account that I'm on right now, right, this, this Mega Shields account, right, once we summon them, then uh, we'll test them out. I know I, I've said that we'll, we'll test them out like of last week or something like that about Hozuki and, and stuff but yeah real life guys I'm sorry really sorry about that but the stream will happen later so yeah um, two new SSRs two new SRs what's the new thing that we have we have this pet system uh, gimmicky I think um, so basically at, at your main screen you'll see a pet either a cat or a dog you tap on it then you have to give it a name. I, I just put Puss, alright? Because I, I have no idea what to name the cat. Right, Puss in Boots. It's, it's Puss, alright? So yeah, um, it showed me... I don't know what this is, but we can see here. Players can tap a stray animal in the courtyard to adopt it as a pet. They can name their pets, then you feed your pet. Hungry, a bowl icon means your pet is hungry. Feed it with sushi, with AP. Oh my god, alright? Broken heart means your pet is sad. Use pet toys to play with it. Feeding pets uses materials while playing with them does not. Okay. Pets in normal state, well fed, happy will assist players. Pets will assist players in soul zones. Players play in solo mode or team mode as the leader will see their pet on the left side of the zone. They can assist rewards for the first assist each day. Include souls, toy vouchers and more. Each assist grants growth to pets. It can be upgraded, and uh, once they reach a certain number, an upgrade quest has been completed. Upgraded pets grant higher grade rewards to their owners, including grade six souls. So currently, everybody's at their low-ish soul, I think. Um, and when you feed, okay, let's feed three AP. Let's see what happens. This is for you. Oh, we get a uh, soul drop up for 15 minutes. Cool. Alright. Uh, what else? Th that's one side. Alright, what is this one? Uh, tier 1 co-op. Grants soul. Random soul 1. Random grade 3 or 4 soul. <laughs> What's the point? Grade 3 or 4. But I, I guess it, it goes up. Like tier 3, you get... Yeah, tier three, tier three, you get a uh, great six souls, which I guess I guess we have to play with it or something. And then you also have this pet house. Um, can you see that one? You know, all this while it's just beside the summoning building, right? Right beside summon, there you see this this windmill. I'm not sure what you can. See. Oh yeah, you can see the mouse. All right, uh, the house with the windmill, the the small pet house, and inside it looks hella dirty because everything's around. Uh, so we tap on it, we get that. Oh, we can we can change between no bonus and okay. Never mind. So you can adopt more. Actually, actually, I'm not in the mood to play around with the pets right now. Now, but uh, you guys can can see what it is. 
Um, what else do we have? Uh, the update stated that uh, the quest achievements have changed. So here quests, now you go to achievements, and now it looks like this, right? And tra trail is basically... Um, I have no idea what trail is. So general, it, we basically achieved almost everything already. I use your bikini in hunt. Alright, I haven't done that. Uh, chapter 23, it's cleared. Oh, okay, everything is here. They said that you use this and then you get points. And once you points reach a certain number, you will be able to get like um, mystery amulets and stuff. But I guess it's still the same. Right? Like, it, it's still the same. So, yeah, uh, Mega Shields has not gotten uh, the unlucky streak extreme. Which now we can see 58 or 400, so he needs to hit like 400 summons without an SSR in order to achieve this Starlight Skyframe and uh, 4000 Jade and also 5 skill Darumas. But there's another one now, Unlucky Streak Cursed, which you now grant a random SSR. So there's an SSR summoning scroll, which I'm, but I mean, you gotta have like really bad luck to not have an SSR in 500 summons, right? I don't know, I know, I'm like, to me it's like every 100 plus you, you definitely get an SSR. But I, I've seen people like uh, go through like 300 plus. Um, I've never seen someone do the 400 yet. I'm not sure if anybody has gotten the Starlight Skyframe yet. Um, what's 500 give you? Uh, SSR scroll, 8 skill Darumas, and 5000 Jade. Cool. But now it's there. Um, battles, great 5 water Kirin and stuff. Basically, it's all the same things, uh, except that now it's on the more complicated look, I guess. I don't know, this this thing that I'm sure they're going to add more stuff to it. What else is there? Um, they have this event. Uh, I saw it in the mail. You see, it's celebrating the anniversary. Dear Muji, you currently have signed in one day during the event. Please claim your rewards. So you get soul drop up 30 minutes and you get 50% EXP bonus. But I've been searching high and low for this so-called event and it, it's not here. This is the Higanbana banner. You click on it, it'll bring you to the summoning circle like so. So I clicked on it and now I'm in the summoning circle. We have 101 uh, mystery amulets which we can also like get more amulets later um, for, for Higanbana and uh, Ichimoku Ren which uh, Mega Shields once, so yeah, we're gonna summon later, like later during the stream. What else is there in the event? Um, Blooming World Pay to Win event, uh, recharge to get rewards. So basically, um, you recharge X amount of SJs and you will get X this corresponding rewards, which is pretty cool. What does the highest one give? A lot of Kyoto Frame for 8,400 SJ. How much is 8,400 SJ? Let's check that one time real quick. Everybody's summoning SSRs, like all the friends uh, are blowing up. So, Jade, SJ. 1002 is 100 bucks. 84 is 700 bucks. 700 bucks for that frame. Um, let's have a look again. I don't know, if, if someone told me like you would get a frame for 700 bucks. Out of Kyoto frame, which I'm pretty sure we can check here. Uh, change frame, Lord of Kyoto. Oh, pretty cool! It's like this um, samurai head. Cool. All right. Okay, I mean, it looks nice, but at the end of the day, it's just a frame, like, it doesn't give you any stat bonuses. Uh, what else is there? There's this Beagle pack exchange, which... I know Beagle is like a streaming app, you know, for people to go live and uh, chat with people, like, IRL stuff, you know, just chat stuff. So basically, you can enter a promo code here and submit it, but um, I have no idea how to get this code. Anybody knows? Do tell me how so in the comment section below um, what else is there uh, pets are here packs new achievement system chapter 23 
recharge events, skins on sale, limited packs, and uh, and Shiro is now available to be summoned using Mystery Amulets. And that's about it. Uh, that's about it for the updates. Um, I guess the, the new thing is this. The pet system, the achievement system. Let's have a look at the skin. So at least we can see how they, they kind of look like, right? This Ichimoku Ren and uh, Higanbana. Right. This is Hanya. No, sorry, this is Hanya. How does Hanya look normally? Oh, this is how Anya looks like. Cool. This, what he or she does. I'm guessing it's a... I don't know, I can't tell, man. This game, like, girl, guy. No idea. Oh, Ren looks like Susabi. With a dragon. Wait, does Susabi have a dragon? And now this thing, he looks like Shishio. Hmm. Hmm. Now let's see. Let's see. Does Susabi have a dragon? Where's Susabi's skin? No, Susabi doesn't have a dragon. He has his uh, demon general. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, but kind of similar looking. Somewhat. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get ready, shower and stuff, have dinner. I'll come back and we'll do the summons. Like, like I'll do a stream, we'll do the summons. Then uh, we probably could spa and stuff like we can theory craft some stuff. Uh, what have I been working on on his account? Um, I did all the skin dungeons. Uh, I got um, Kuro. Where is Kuro? Kuro Doji G6. There he is. Uh, I've got him up to G6, but I haven't like looked at the souls that they ha he has on his account like uh, I know his seductive souls are pretty bad like I don't know usually I'm farming on the account like like I'll do a device uh, I'll farm my account his account and, and then we'll just rule so that's why when I, when I soul farm I just farm Mega's account and my account together so and, and the, the the shitty thing about it is uh, although we found the same amount um, he is a lot faster than me even though I've been farming on this account for the past like couple of months. Yeah. Oh well, that's that. Um yeah. So enjoy the update. Uh you have Jade Rewards Mystery Amulets like coming from this thing. And I will see you guys in a bit. This is Zaf signing out. Man.